Okay, the next step is to take the slit keepers out of these uh, spring retainers on the valves. So for that, I'm going to cut a little window out of an old socket, an old spark plug socket I had, to use as the split keeper removal tool on my homemade spring compressor, which is essentially a C-clamp. So there we have the finished product. Should work okay. Okay, I got this makeshift contraption started up here, so I got a rag on that side to keep it from dinging it up. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's starting to compress the, the spring, and those slit keepers are about to pop out of there. I'll just keep going and finish that off. So the slit keepers popped out of there nicely. Now I should just be able to take the rest of this uh, stuff off the valve. Springs. Getting the rest off might be a little tricky. <clears throat> now that that spring's off of there, I can just push on the other end of the valve. Out she comes. There's a lot of buildup on these valves. It's definitely a good thing I took this apart. I'll lap that up as clean as I can. Hold the valve seal out of there kind of wrecked it in the process but that should probably be replaced anyhow okay I've been bagging everything bagging and tagging everything I've taken off here but for the valves they're each gonna get their own bag so each valve is gonna go in its own bag and this one I just took out was the front cylinders right intake valve and that should keep it separate so they all go back in the same place they came from okay I got three of the four valves out of there I'll just show you what I'm doing on this fourth one here Go the <clears throat> split keepers out of there. Now pull the spring retainers out. And there's two, uh, I don't know if you call them washers or shims at the bottom of each spring. Big one and a small one. And then, because I'm planning on replacing these valve seals, I've just been pulling them out. Um, I guess I should take the valve out first. Pretty good seal. Just been pulling them out with players. Pretty snug on there. <clears throat> now I get all four of them out of there. Bag up this last one, clean them up, and then try to do some lapping. Okay, so I got quite a bit of carbon buildup on these valves. Now something I had tried on uh, power valve components on my dirt bike engine was using oven cleaner to get the carbon off and that worked pretty good. So I think I'm going to try that again. The only thing you got to keep in mind is when you use oven cleaner to clean things 
is to not use it on aluminum as the lye in it will eat away at the aluminum. So I'm going to put this in a little tin container and give it a shot of oven cleaner. Let that eat away at that for a little while. Come back in 10 minutes and see if it cleaned it up at all. Okay, while I wait for that oven cleaner to do its thing, I'm going to try and blow this oil filter right here out of there with some compressed air. I think if I blow in one of these HLA holsters, I should be able to pop it out of there. got oil to move but it didn't come okay by putting masking tape over the HLI or HLA holes um, and blowing in this little guy I managed to pop the oil filter out of that uh, hole so this little guy hard little puck porous puck popped out of there okay this valve has been sitting in this oven cleaner for a little bit we'll just see if the carbon wipes off of it any easier. Seems to be doing a pretty good job. It seemed to have loosened it up pretty well. It didn't get all of it the first go here. But maybe a longer bath and maybe a little little rougher scrub pad and that should come off pretty good. Try that again. Okay, I gotta clean up the inside of this head now. Um, I think I might get after it with some carb cleaner and then uh, maybe maybe a scotch bright pad to get the, the thicker stuff off and then uh, some steel wool or something once once the thick carbons buildups broken off there clean it up with that see how that goes I might need a scraper to get some of this carbon off it's built up there pretty good in some spots so I'm just carefully scraping with the profile of the inside of this head with a razor blade and that uh, that seems to be working pretty good to get this crustier carbon build up off of here. I don't think I'm doing any kind of irreversible damage by doing it this way. I don't know if you can see that but it uh, it's cleaning it up really nice quite a bit of quite a bit of carbon buildups coming off there so a little bit longer with the razor blade okay this valve has had quite a while to sit in the oven cleaner I'm just gonna try and scuff this carbon off with this scotch brake pad seem to work pretty good Maybe try and scrape some of this stuff off with the razor blade as well. After quite a bit of scrubbing, this valve came pretty clean. Seven more to go. And scrub this up a little bit. Still needs a little bit more in these areas and around the valve seats. Go after that a little bit more and then I can... Uh, once I have all the valves cl cleaned up, I can start uh, lapping the valve seats.